Hi everybody, welcome to the Splash Packer YouTube channel. Uh, in this post, I'm going to share three tips for female scuba diver travelers, uh, which you really can take in your backpack if you like to go traveling and scuba diving. And they're all pink, as you see, because today it's International Women's Day. So even though my blog and this YouTube channel is not focused only on, on female, but this post particularly is focused for female travelers, okay? So I'm gonna share three things I always carry with me uh, in my backpack because they're very useful. Um, especially for females. Well, the first one is not really for females, but it's pink though. The little dry bag you buy for one or two dollars everywhere in Thailand, for example. This is the two liter version. And it's not only to go diving. Well, this bag is super useful, of course, to keep things dry on the dive boat. But as well, for me, it has the perfect size uh, as a handbag as well. So sometimes I don't have enough place in my backpack, I don't carry a handbag. And if you in the evenings like to go for dinner or something, I keep this bag as a handbag. So most female travelers still need to have some kind of a handbag. Um, and this size for me is perfect because um, sometimes I take my Kindle, I like to read. If I go for dinner alone or something, it fits the Kindle, it keeps everything dry. It's safe as well because I sometimes carry my little backpack or backpack whatever and use this as a handbag on the airport and stuff. You close it like this so nobody can just grab into your bag. So it's, uh, it's not very fashionist, fashion. But um, so this little bag is super useful for me. Unmissable. Second thing, it's a Dutch thing. It's called the washing hand in Dutch. It's some, I don't know, I'm sure you have it in other countries as well. But in uh, the Netherlands originally it was used like you can put your hand in to wash your face. All right. I always have this in my backpack because uh, it's useful for, for a lot of different things. First of all, um, of course, I can use it to wash or dry my face. If I'm in a budget accommodation, I run out of clean towels, whatever, just to like for your face have something clean, this is really useful. Second, uh, if you go diving, you can use it as a dry cloth to like dry your mask, clean your camera lens. Um, yeah, you can do a lot of things with it. So it's very useful. No swell. I like to go running sometimes and you can use it like to, to take off your sweat off your forehead or whatever. So the, the Dutch washing hand. And third thing, it's the um, a cup for menstruational cup. So they have different names, there's different brands now. I'm just going to show you a bit how it looks like. This is why it's really a female post. But this is very useful. It works like a Tempex and you can reuse it. You can wash it. Um, and especially, I've been traveling to places like Philippines, for example. I just call it, I just name a country here, but a lot of places in Asia, Tempex is not very common. What do you do if you have your period and you want to go diving and there's no Tempex available? I had that problem once when I was in the Philippines. Uh, I was walking through Manila like maybe two hours from shopping center to shopping center and I couldn't find any Tempex and I needed to go diving the next day. So finally I found it, but that like, for me it's not always perfect this one, but it's good to have as a backup. I always use my normal Tempex, but uh, this one is environmental friendly because you don't produce waste and um, it's just unmissable in my bag. If I have my period and I don't have enough Tempex, I can still go diving with this, okay? So that's a little uh, three things you can carry in your backpack. If you're interested in more information about traveling, scuba diving, destinations, tips, how to become a diving instructor, please check out my Splashpacker blog. So it's www.splashpacker.com and keep an eye on my YouTube channel. Okay, happy International Women's Day.